What do advanced Tibetan monks, creative geniuses in a moment of insight, and people experiencing profound states of bliss have in common? They are all producing a superconscious brainwave state known as gamma. Scientists have measured monks producing gamma waves 700% stronger than the average person. But this isn't a superpower reserved for a select few. It's a state you can train your brain to achieve. Today, we learn how. Welcome back. Throughout this series, we've explored how to manage our energy and program our reality. But what if we could upgrade the very hardware we use to do it? What if we could train our brain to operate at a higher, more coherent, and more powerful frequency? This is where the fascinating science of brainwaves comes in. We've briefly mentioned them before, but today we were going deep into the most mysterious and powerful of them all. Gamma waves. Gamma is the fastest brainwave frequency. It's associated with peak performance, intense focus, creative breakthroughs, and what many describe as states of transcendental consciousness. It is the signature of a brain that is highly organized, efficient, and powerfully coherent. In this video, you will learn what gamma waves are and why they are so important. We'll look at the science of how monks produce them, and I will give you a practical meditation technique to start training your own brain to enter this superconscious state. First, let's quickly understand brain waves. Your brain is made of billions of neurons that communicate using tiny electrical signals. The combined activity of these signals creates waves, much like ripples on a pond. We can measure these waves and categorize them by their speed or frequency. At the slowest end, we have delta, which you experience in deep, dreamless sleep. Then comes theta, associated with deep meditation and dreaming. Above that is alpha, the state of relaxed awareness, like when you're daydreaming. Then there's beta, your normal waking state of active thinking and focus. But at the very top, faster than all the others, is gamma. If beta is like a group of people in a room all having separate conversations, gamma is like everyone in that room suddenly singing the same note in perfect harmony. It's a state of immense coherence where large areas of your brain synchronize and work together with incredible efficiency. Why does this matter? When your brain is in a gamma state, you experience heightened perception. Your senses are sharper. You process information faster. You make connections between ideas you never saw before, leading to those aha moments of genius. And most profoundly, people in gamma states often report feeling a deep sense of oneness, compassion, and unconditional love. It is the brainwave signature of your highest potential. So how do we know all this? Much of this research was pioneered by neuroscientist Richard Davidson, who was encouraged by the Dalai Lama to study the brains of advanced meditation practitioners. He brought these monks into his lab, hooked them up to brain scanners and asked them to meditate, specifically on the feeling of unconditional compassion. The results were astonishing. The monks' brains produced gamma wave activity that was more powerful, more organized, and lasted longer than any previously recorded in a healthy human brain. The key was in their technique. They weren't just clearing their minds. They were actively generating a powerful, elevated emotion, compassion. This combination of deep focus and a high-frequency emotion was the trigger. This proved that our internal state, the quality of our thoughts and feelings can fundamentally change the physical functioning of our brains. The monks had, through thousands of hours of practice, essentially rewired their brains to be more compassionate, focused, and coherent. They had built what we can call a gamma-dominant brain. And the research shows that even beginners can start to see changes in their brainwave patterns with consistent practice. We can learn from the monk's method this meditation combines focused attention with an elevated emotion to encourage your brain to synchronize in the gamma frequency. Step 1. The body scan and space awareness. Sit comfortably with your eyes closed. Start by bringing your attention to your body. Feel the space your toes occupy in the room. Then feel the space your feet occupy. Slowly move your awareness up your legs, your torso, your arms, and your head, simply feeling the space that your body takes up. Now, expand that awareness. Feel the space of the entire room around you. This practice shifts you from narrow analytical thinking to broad, open awareness. Step two, generate the elevated emotion. This is the key. Just as the monks did, 
you must now actively cultivate a high frequency emotion. Let's use gratitude or compassion. Begin by thinking of someone or something you feel immense gratitude for. Don't just think about it, recreate the feeling in your body. Let the feeling of gratitude well up in your heart center. Feel it expand until it fills your entire body. Step three, radiate and synchronize. Now hold that feeling of gratitude or compassion and begin to radiate it outwards. Imagine you are broadcasting this feeling from your heart into the space around you. Radiate it to your family, your community, your country, and eventually, the entire planet. As you do this, hold a gentle focus. You are not forcing anything. You are simply becoming a beacon of this high-frequency emotion, synchronizing your personal energy with the energy of the wider quantum field. Stay in this state for 10-15 minutes. This is the training ground for producing coherent gamma waves. This practice is like taking your brain to the gym. The more you do it, the stronger and more coherent it becomes. Your challenge is to try this meditation at least three times this week. Notice how you feel before and after. Then, share in the comments. During the meditation, what elevated emotion did you choose to radiate? Gratitude, compassion, joy, or something else? You are not limited by your current brainwave patterns. You have the power to consciously train your brain to function at a higher level of awareness, focus, and compassion. By practicing these states, you are literally building the neurological hardware for a new reality. Thank you for upgrading your consciousness with us today. If you found this valuable, please honor us with a like and subscribe for more. In our next video, we'll learn how to apply this heightened awareness in a practical way with your energy field, how others affect your success. Until next time, stay coherent.